Hello, we are uh, going to talk about Calypso software for the uh, CMM coordinate measuring machine. And what we're going to do is do a little bit of setup for Calypso. So if I double click on, click on the Calypso icon, it comes to the login. Uh, we're set up for no password, so just hit OK. And it will launch the software uh, itself. Um, in a monitor a status window uh, which tells us some things that are going on and simulation because it thinks it's connected to the C, uh, CMM. Typically unless somebody turns off uh, show tips uh, we should see tips so this is nice because then you can see different tips every time you log on. Um, you can see next, you can see previous um, or you can close. So to start out with, um, <clears throat> there are some settings we want set up, uh, which once they're set up, there's not much we have to do every time we go in. So this video is mainly for the initial setup or if something gets kind of messed up. So in order to look at this, we're going to go to change settings. And I can, these are some different areas that I can look at. So if I go to the CMM itself, it should say Zeiss. And we want this checkbox, which if it's an offline software, it's going to automatically do that uh, when we first set it up. And we do want it to reconnect in case it ever asks us. Um, so that's in this control tab. If I move down to the machine tab, it should say Duramax. And it should be 500 millimeters. That is the size of the Duramax. I got a probe. In probe, I need it to say Zeiss fixed mounting. And if I come down and look at it, it's the XXT that needs to be checked. Okay. I'm going to cancel because I'm not saving or changing anything. Um, next, I want to look at the environment. Uh, Duramax is a German company. It comes set up for millimeters. Uh, we're using inch. So if I come in here and I look at language, language allows me to toggle between millimeters and inner, uh, inch and Celsius and Fahrenheit. So we change it to inch and Fahrenheit. And that's all we should have to change here. And in measurement, I want to make sure that in the form datum we pick outer tangential element and we need to have this reference calculation checked and then what happens is it goes to the theoretical corner which is what we want and so I'm done setting this so I can go back to the main screen this is typically the one you're going to have not all the time you're going to have these options to change this stuff. Basically, we're always going to either create a new measurement plan or we're going to open an existing measurement plan. So I want to show you some other, another way in case this change settings option isn't here that you can get at those settings. So we're going to create a new measurement plan. And when it loads up, we're going to look at um, extras, settings, and here's where I have those same things. CMM, uh, and in the CMM is where I can have the machine and the probe, just like the other one. Extras, settings, um, measurement, well, there's environment, and then environment we had the language and there is another way to set it um, inch millimeters but that is um, inspection plan dependent or file dependent so it's not global this would be the global way to set the environment um, so this is the preferred way so that uh, anything I bring in to this uh, software is going to be seen as inch and then measurement was that form data that we looked at. 
So those are some main things. A uh, couple other things, if we go to resources and I pick load save defaults, we have some things that we set. We named it filters on, strategies off. And if we go and we look at these different things, we didn't change anything in the way it evaluates it. In filter and outliers, it should be at filters on. And with filters on, we've checked all of these boxes and gone in and answered. In this case, the first two columns are Gauss. And the third column is uh, changed with 5 and 10 down here. There's a document to go through this. Shouldn't need to uh, do anything with this. Um, but we want filters on, strategy, we have uh, strategies off is what we do, and there's nothing there. So we created these labels in each of these, and then in the general tab we went and we labeled it filters on, strategies off, and that's what we want with those settings that we did. So. Um, those are kind of the basic setups. Um, in the next video, um, we'll talk about um, starting to create a measurement plan.